Yo guys, it is Cam from Product Soccer, the world's largest boot room. And in front of me, a very special boot because these have caused quite the talk online. They were pictured on Harry Kane's feet during the preseason tour. We finally dropped them at Product Soccer. And surprised to a lot of people, these are the brand new release from Skechers. This is the SKX01. It is Skechers' first ever football boot. Harry Kane is going to be wearing these boots. He is the lead athlete. I've had the pleasure of trying them, so today I'm going to give you a bit of an unfiltered opinion, first review, because I wore these as a blackout boot not knowing what they were, so I had some honest thoughts and feedback which I'm going to share with you guys. But yeah, before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video, and with that being said, let's get into it. So then, the SKX01, bit of a tongue twister, but yes, this is Skechers' first ever football boot. Now, I think in terms of looks, like first impressions, not too bad. Um, blackout boot, you obviously can't go wrong, but there's a reason that Harry Kane wore these because it was a prototype, didn't want anyone in the media, teammates, boots and boot enthusiasts, didn't want anyone knowing about them. Um, I think the silhouette of this boot is pretty good. Like, looks modern, it looks like it belongs in the market. Um, and interestingly, lots of the talk online, people genuinely thought this was a Nike release, an Adidas release, even a new Puma release. Um, Skechers was far and few in between with comments, people guessing that. So I think that's already a good sign for the brand uh, because these boots fit into the market with what boots already look like. Design and color, I'm not sold on it, but that's personal preference with the blue and the neon. Like it's not my favorite. I prefer a white and bright boot. Um, I think the heel looks a little bit long here on the collar. Um, I wasn't too sure about this when I saw it, but I will come into comfort later because this was really comfortable. But yeah, first impressions, I think these boots, pretty solid. As I said, I think they belong in the marketplace. And I think when you compare this model to some of the newer brands' first ever releases in recent years, this is pretty solid. Um, I hope it comes across that on the camera, but as I said, I'll get onto my thoughts and opinions. Comfort levels on these, blimmin' brilliant. <laughs> Comfort and fit, first topic I'm gonna to cover. Now, I personally have got wider feet, however, I do have a tendency to wear narrower boots like a Mercurial. The only way I could describe these boots genuinely is they felt a little bit of a hybrid between a Mercurial and a Phantom GT, because they were a bit more narrow, um, but the texturing that you guys will see on these boots is pretty reminiscent of a, of a Phantom GT, which I personally really liked as a boot. Um, They've got a lot of 3D texturing. I think I can see a little logo here, which has got PSC written on it, which stands for Precise Strike Control. So I'm gonna guess this is the equivalent of, you know, your demon spikes on uh, Adidas Predators, your all conditions control on Nike boots. It's just a bit of texturing, so you've got some grip on the ball, which is something I felt a lot um, and really enjoyed wearing these. Like these are quite light, really comfortable. You've got a knitted collar and tongue, so you've got that sock-like feeling, but then the rest of the boot is quite synthetic-like. Um, really flexible, good sole plate as well, which again, I think reminds me a lot of a Phantom GT, but um, yeah, like my first impressions wearing these boots for the fit and comfort was great. I went true to size, they fit well, didn't run long, didn't run small, they were pretty much bang on to be fair. Um, so overall, for fit and, fit and comfort, pretty happy. So I'm gonna go out there and just drop the name, okay? Harry Kane, I actually had the pleasure of filming them and it was the first time that I wore these boots. So I was sort of in two minds where I wasn't worrying too much about what was on my feet because I was obviously filming a video and I was with a player, but I also thought that was a good thing because it meant I wasn't looking out for anything, I wasn't judging comfort levels or how they felt too much, I was just wearing a pair of boots. Uh, they held up really well, like I really enjoyed them. I've told you before, they felt a bit like a phantom, a bit like a mercurial. So talking about that texture, which I said here, says precise strike control. Um, did a fair bit of shooting with Harry. They felt lovely to strike the ball. They're really thin upper. Um, again, I'd have to compare it to like some more synthetic boots on the market, like your Adidas X Speed Portals, um, as I've mentioned it already, the Phantom GT. Also, I'd maybe even say like a bit Puma Future-esque, where it's a little bit thicker, but it's still quite thin, really comfortable. Um, so yeah, the touch and texture on these boots is great. I do quite like this um, grip texture. It is literally all over the boot, like lateral side, medial side, on the toe box, even on the sole plate, where the, where the plate isn't attached, there's grip on the bottom as well. So they've definitely done their research and sort of 
created a boot that will fit that player that is, you know, always making loads of passes, controlling the ball, receiving the ball, shooting, striking. So yeah, filming with Harry Kane, like, these were fun to play and didn't really notice them on my feet as such, which I always think is a good thing, because if you, you know, you've got comfort issues, then you're going to say something, you're going to realise something. Had nothing with them, so I was, yeah, super impressed with that. I did touch on it, striking and traction, so like striking with the ball and also testing the sole plate. These did feel nice. I mean, I do a lot of shooting, so it's something that I think is important. I had a barefoot feel in these boots. Um, as I've said, it sort of did remind me of a Mercurial a bit. The upper is super thin, it's flexible, it's soft. You've obviously got the knitted uh, tongue and collar, which is a bit nice because it makes your, your foot feel like it's wrapped, it's secured in a bit more. You've got laces as well, so you can really secure the lockdown. I never really know what to say about a sole plate with traction because, because I don't play too many competitive games, I don't always tell the difference. I mean, this sole plate has got like your conical studs, so a bit more better for rotation rather than like explosive speed. Um, but pretty stable. I think, you know, Skechers haven't really gone wrong here. They've gone for a pretty traditional stud pattern, which is universal amongst most brands right now. So these felt really nice on feet. As I said, striking the ball was nice. They're thin, they're comfortable, they're pretty light. Loads of padding as well in the, uh, in the heel liner here. So, I mean, Skechers are notoriously known for their comfort in trainers and running shoes. So I was expecting them to be comfortable. They didn't disappoint there. Um, so yeah, striking really enjoyed these boots. So, my final thoughts on the Skechers SKX01. Blackout boot, Harry Kane wore these in pre-season, all the talk online. Um, as a consumer myself, it was, it was nice to know the information before it was public and some of the guesses were incredible in the comments like Castor, as I said, people were saying this is a Nike and Adidas hybrid because some of these, uh, these, these 3D texture patterns look like a Predator accelerator. Then as I've already pulled out, the, the grooves are more like a Phantom GT. So it's really interesting to see people's comments, but honestly, I've tested a lot of football boots in my time. I've tested a lot of brand new boots in terms of when a brand is new to the scene. I think Skechers have properly solidified them as you know a credible brand when it comes to making football boots. This is a solid start. By no means do I think it's perfect, and I've definitely got preferences with other brands right now, but I was, by no means do I have anything bad to say about them. They felt great, they were comfortable, they fit well, they felt light, they were nice to strike the ball. As I said before, it's a bit of a personal issue for me. I would change the color, I'd make them white and bright. I think the logo is not as bad as I thought it would be. I'd maybe shift it a little bit more to the, the rear of the boot. I think the inside logo is quite subtle there, which I like. Um, but yeah, Skechers just make a white and bright pair, I'll be all over them. But I've got to be honest, fantastic boot. If any of you guys were lucky enough to cop these, we sold them as a mystery blackout boot to create some hype. Genuinely worth the price tag if you're going to wear them because I would happily put them in the same calibre of boots that are out there already on the market. I think it's exciting times for the football boot world because it means there's going to be even more choice. Obviously, signing Harry Kane is a massive step in the right direction for Skechers, and it probably shows how good the boot is for a player like him to sign. So, they are my first impressions. If I had to give them a rating out of 10, I would genuinely be lying if I was to say I'd give them anything less than an 8. Like, they're really, really good. Obviously, we're going to be stocking them at Proderex Soccer. That is by no means why I'm saying that at all. Um, genuinely, as a football boot enthusiast, bit of a boot nerd, really enjoyed wearing these. I'm excited to see what else Skechers come out with. But yeah, that's my sort of first impressions and wrap up. Let me know what you guys think of these boots. And if any of you did cop them, I honestly beg you wear them, give them a go, because they are brilliant. So yeah, that's everything for me. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Proderex Soccer, the world's largest boot room, where we will be dropping their first launch colorway very soon. And um, yeah, that is everything from me. I'll see you next time, signing off.